this world and this world is no friend to you Be gone Leave this place behind And I will keep on So you'll notice a couple of goodies on the side here this morning. So Stuart did return the faulty circular saw, which we have here. Uh, but to my surprise, <laughs> there doesn't appear to be a blade. My bad. So there was a blade, it was underneath the bottom of the bag. But, before we deblade, I do have to check the little bit on here that holds the uh, blade in, the, the blade holder, if you like, is all hairy wampus. So I'm hoping, ah uh, yeah, it looks all right, it was just, cantilevered. Oh gosh. I'm far too busy. So uh, yeah, that was my bad. This looks alright. Let's have a look in here. Aha. Uh -huh. Beautiful, beautiful blades these. We'll keep that as well. So I think I've still got that from the other one. So I'm going to put this back together. I do need to use this immediately. Um, so hopefully it's not another crib death. And you'll notice behind, I picked up their thickness planer as well. This is the Titan one from Screwfix. I was going to go with a different version, but they had 209 reviews. And one guy said he'd had one of these for six years. I don't know how much use he'd given it, mind. So, because we've got so many offcuts of this beautiful timber, uh, which are all funny sizes, I don't want to waste them. So, for those square tabletops, for instance, I'm going to cut, joint, glue, and then uh, we'll make the tabletops out of the scraps, and we can keep that thick, rugged look then. Right, I'll put this together, and we'll get on with some choppy choppy. in our evolution when we didn't guide life by distrusting our instincts and had to think about it and had to purposely arrange and discipline and push our lives around in accordance with foresight and words and systems of symbols accountancy calculation and so on and then we worry once you start thinking about things, you worry as to whether you've thought enough. chair while I explain what we've been up to today. 
because it's been quite a lot as it happens. I'm just going to open myself a Tiny Rebel Club Tropicana. I think I deserve it. It's 8.39pm on a Friday and uh, I'm calling it time. Uh, so, oh, amazing. So last night when I got home and I was editing the video, I decided that the best way to approach the back bar, because we don't need to keep a wany edge, um, and I want the timber to be relatively flat for serving purposes, uh, I thought what we'd do is cut the shakes, the cracks and all of the splits out of the timber boards and uh, cut them in half or cut the cracks out and then run them through a jointer and uh, join them back together. So using the funds donated by everybody on Patreon I managed to cobble together enough money to buy this uh, Titan planer from Screwfix um, and also we returned the circular saw that crapped out on yesterday's vlog. So with the planer I've had to make a few modifications namely a uh, outfeed table or the something that resembles an outfeed table because I spend most of my time in the shop on my own it's very difficult to push timber through the planer without twisting it slightly or just coming off of the 90 degree vertical it's hard work so uh, I put the outfeed table on there and then I also realised I had to extend the fence at the back to hold the workpiece at 90 degrees so we just applied a little bit of uh, I think it was 8x1 just screwed onto the back of the plate to give me that little bit more stability as I'm pushing these big heavy pieces of ash through the planer it took me quite a while to set it up and uh, get everything sort of how I want it to be. Because the weight of the timber was so much, I decided that I'd trim it down to the finished sizes uh, before we ran it through the planer. So I also managed to trim up another 300mm piece for uh, the back bar as well, because in the pub the wall drops away considerably meaning that one section of the bar where the keg taps are going to be will have this 300mm piece of ash and then as it dies back we'll be on this 600mm wide piece and of course the benefit of cutting and jointing it is I've managed to remove any cut or twist from the piece and it is 95% flat so apart from just taking a plane to the corners and obviously this joint when it's finished I think it'll be a pretty good serving area. So as you can see along the joint as well the gap meets in most of the length. There are one or two little places where it doesn't actually join up. So I'm hoping tomorrow if I can get the help of Gemma or Stuart to uh, help me out on the outfeed table. We'll run it through the joint of one or two more times and see if we can't get that final edge totally flat and square and then we'll figure out a way of jointing the two pieces together. I don't have a biscuit jointer. I'm tempted. They're only 50, 60 pound in screw fix. Am I going to use it much after this project? Probably not. Is it going to save me that much headache? Probably yes. So I have to weigh up the pros and cons. We'll have a look tonight what's left in the Patreon pot. Um, but if there's some money in there, then I will go ahead and get a jointer, a biscuit jointer tomorrow. And of course, having these tools such as the, the planar thicknesser and the uh, and circular saw and everything else we've got, in the shop now means that once the, this pub is uh, up and running then we can concentrate on more projects in here uh, to modify and innovate the brewery and uh, I also want to make quite a bit of furniture and stuff 
uh, for home and more stuff for the pub. And who knows, maybe even another pub this time next year. That would be nice, but we shall walk before we run, of course. So what I really liked about jointing this timber as well is the fact that just the cut down the centre where we removed the shakes gave me a real nice uh, union with the grain because it was off the same piece of timber. So I'm really looking forward to uh, using this approach on some smaller lengths, uh, maybe to create some tabletops, uh, not necessarily quite as thick as this. But uh, yeah, I really think that it's going to come in handy in the future and we're going to be able to use the joint to thickness uh, a lot more. So I'm going to kind of just sit here for five or ten minutes, enjoy this Tanny Rebel beer and wait for Gemma to come along and pick me up. I need to have a shower, I need to edit the vlog and I need to sit down. Lumping this timber backwards and forwards across the planer or the jointer really takes its toll on your back and uh, I ain't getting any younger carrying enough weight as it is, never mind all this timber. But I'm really impressed. I really do like how it looks so far and I can really see how it's going to look on the bar. So I'm going to wrap it up folks. Thanks for tuning in and uh, a big shout to all the Patreons which have enabled me to make this purchase today and obviously all the subscribers and comment on the video. Let me know how you think I should go about jointing these two pieces of timber together, whether I should invest in a biscuit jointer. If indeed you've bought a biscuit jointer from either Screwfix or Toolstation and which one was the best. So uh, I look forward to reading those comments and we will see you tomorrow folks. Cheers. <laughs>